One insect we really didn't expect to see a lot of this year was grasshoppers because in much of the country, May was about as wet as it's ever been. But guess what's showing up? grasshoppers. Well, along field edges, along roadside ditches, those kind of areas, we're seeing lots and lots of little grasshoppers in many areas across the country. It's something to keep an eye on. Now you may say, well, they haven't spread way out into my field yet. Just give them a dry week or two and all of a sudden there isn't as much to feed on in the ditches or on the edge of the field and they move out into the field. So with grasshoppers, they're kind of an interesting bug. They don't just appear out in the middle of the field most of the time. They start on the edge and work their way in. If we can address that insect issue early, many times we can save a lot of money on the farm by just spraying the roadside ditch and the first few rows on the end of the field. We can stop grasshoppers before they ever get out and into the field. So when Darren talks about, hey, these little grasshoppers, that's the time to get them because that's when you can get almost 100% control and even in some cases and I don't usually recommend this you can cut the rate slightly on some of the different insecticides out there but boy by the time you get to the full adult stage you've got to use the full rate and even then it might not be hundred percent control because those grasshoppers are so big and they move so fast through certain areas all right let's talk a little about products and everybody talks about oh pesticides are so dangerous yeah I agree 30 years ago but parathion has been off the market for what 20 some years furidan has been off the market for a long time now we're left with things that come from a flower. That's the number one product that we talked to you about today is one of these pyrethroids that comes from the chrysanthemum flower. So what would you rather spray? Something that's going to kill everything in the field and you or something from a flower that's perfectly safe to most everything out there except for a few target insects. So things have completely changed in agriculture from a safety standpoint and that's where we talk about these grasshoppers. You know the products that were very popular 25-30 years ago they don't even exist anymore. Now we're talking about the pyrethroids and there's still Lorsman out there as an organophosphate, but typically we're talking full rate pyrethroid. All right, let's talk about thresholds just a little bit because I think grasshoppers are such a unique situation. Many times as we started this segment by saying we've got them in the ditch or we've got them on the end rows. Many times we see guys out spraying for soybean aphids or spraying for a different bug, cutworms or something else. And they say, well, I also have a low level of grasshoppers in the field. So it's one of those things where these same products Brian was just talking about are the ones that we're using to control other insects in the field. So grasshoppers may be something that, hey, I found a couple grasshoppers in my sweep net too. Should I spray for them also? Yeah, you can kill the grasshoppers at the same time as well. One other product I'd mention real quick is Dimolin that doesn't kill as many bugs as what the pyrethroids will. And what it basically does is stops that insect, that grasshopper from going to the next stage. So it's gonna die maybe in a few days, maybe in a week, week and a half. It's much slower, but it's just a whole different product, not gonna kill as many insects as the pyrethroids. Well, if you see some grasshoppers in your fields, definitely go out and scout for them. Look around the edges of the field first. If they start spreading out into your field, you've got a real problem. You want to control them when they're in their younger growth stages. As soon as they develop wings, they're in the adult stage. They're much more difficult to control. So don't wait on grasshoppers. If you're scouting large numbers early in the season, get them under control. When you're out there spraying for grasshoppers, you might see our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 